Hey guys, it's Michelle Savacci here, and today we're gonna to talk about client touch-ups and color boost, what's normal and what's not. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to talk about color boosts and touch-ups. In my opinion, color boosts and touch-ups are different. A touch-up should happen after the initial appointment within 30 to 45 days. A color boost is something that happens going forward every year. Brows are very loose colors. They need to be infused every year with more color. So microblading versus machine. Microblading, by its very nature, is a very thin hair stroke. There's very little pigment deposited into the skin. Because of that, it tends to fade a little quicker. Machine work does deposit more pigment into the skin, and so they do tend to last a little longer, but both techniques, in my opinion, can have annual color boosts. Here's what's not normal. Not normal would be touching up your client's eyebrows every three months. You're going to have picky clients, but you don't need to indulge them every time somebody thinks they need their brows tweaked. I do have clients in the first year that would like a six month touch up, and that's fine. Definitely with, you know, very light skinned individuals, tend to fade a little faster. So I will do a six month touch up, but then going forward, I do think it is the best thing to do annual color boosts because if you work the skin too much, it also will make the skin a little harder to work in going forward in many years. Another really important determining factor of you know, how often brows need to be color boosted is environmental forces. The sun, the wind, you know, are they outside a lot? Do they exercise a lot? And do they put moisturizer on their skin? Do they wear sunblock? That's very important as well. The other thing is, you know, how rough are they on their skin? Are they protecting their skin? Uh, are they aging well or are they not? Another determining factor of how often you want to do color boosts would be, you know, does this client have previous work or not? If they have previous work and there's any scarring involved, if somebody was too heavy handed with, you know, what they did with your client before, it's going to make it difficult to keep the lighter colors in skin. All right, so we all have these clients who want color boosts all the time. I think it's important to know that you can only saturate the skin with a certain amount of pigment to a point. So how do you maintain the most beautiful shades of eyebrows? You talk your client into doing the least amount of pigment that will get them their desired result for every appointment. Like I said, annual color boosts are fine. If you keep touching up someone's brows because they simply want it darker and darker and darker, before you know it, those brows will be gray because there's always a little bit of black in most browns. So you just need to be aware of that. It becomes more difficult to maintain the most beautiful eyebrow shades over long periods of time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the show today. If you like what I had to say, subscribe below, hit the like button. I know you have questions, otherwise you wouldn't be watching the show. So please write them in the comments section below. That would be awesome, so I can keep talking. Thanks.